this is all shit. Money beyond the bare minimum necessary for food and living expenses is just a means to an end. Well, not for me. I want as much as possible just for the sake of it. Anyway, she's in Paris at the moment. She's in Paris painting with loads of painters and she's still calling me up saying oh, I feel like a fraud. There are all these great painters around me and I feel like a fraud here. I mean, what does she want? She's in Paris, she's painting in Paris and still she's on the phone asking me for, for, for support and advice and, and, and reassurance. It's crazy. And what do I get for my efforts? If I say, um, you know, uh, do you like this, this photograph or, or something? She said, yes, 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 it, it's, it's very nice, you know. <clears throat> and that's it. I'll say, well, you know, what do you think of it? Oh, it's fine. It's, fine. it's me who has to do all this, all this reassurance and everything. I don't know. When it comes to lovers, I'm just an, like an idiot, you know. It just, I don't know, it just doesn't work out for me. I don't know, why, why does it work out for everyone else? I don't know, I meet these men who either pretend to be somebody else when they, than they are, these, however you call them, assholes. Lots of assholes. The vulnerable ones, you know, the ones who pretend to be the mouse and uh, they just want to have like a mother who's looking after them and what else have we got? Best ones, you know, the ones who are actually like teenage boys, you know, men and who tell you, oh, a. Hey, I've been out last week every night till four o'clock in the morning. I'm so cool. I'm never going to grow old. Great. Yes, that's what you want. Emotional, the emotional demands and... I don't think I... Anyway, anyway. Um, so I, I went over to my friend Bernie, who, who lives in, who lives in Penzance, and I said, Bernie, here's three hundred quid. Go round to her place. Go round to her place, and buy a bloody painting. Just buy a painting, okay? Take twenty five percent. Take twenty five percent yourself, a commission or whatever. But buy a painting. So fine. He went round there and bought this painting. She came back and it was like the sun the sun came out for a whole month. For a whole month she was happy and cheerful. I've sold the painting. Fantastic. Yeah. I didn't have to reassure her about anything because she'd sold a painting. Love letters. Years of them. The truth is, there is no grown-up man. There isn't. Forget about it. You know, so, so I'd rather just uh, stay alone. Yes? I don't know. Perhaps you should try more men. I've tried enough, I think. I how many? How many? Tell me, how many have you tried? I oh, can't count anymore. Come on. Ten? I can't count 20, anymore. Thirty? Were what you... is it of your business? 
<laughs> well, we're, we're friends, aren't we? 30 at least. 30 at least? Well, you know, we are not talking about serious, serious you relationships. dirty little what, fucker. What? You <laughs> asshole. You know, I'm going to stop this shit if you don't behave, yes? Isn't it lovely today? Yes. <laughs> of course, after a month, the clouds gathered again, the storm broke, and everything was doom and gloom, and... <clears throat> oh, God, it's been a month since I sold a painting. Christ's sake, before that, it'd been two years. You know. So, uh, I went round to Bernie again and gave him 300 quid and said, go round to her place again, Bernie, and... Um, Buy another painting, for Christ's sake. Take 25% for yourself. You look so cool. So she said, uh, she said, Frank, I've sold another painting. I said, Christ, it's terrific. You know? uh, so she was wonderful, you know. She didn't, she didn't give me any sort of, any sort of demands, you know. Well, sexual demands, of course. Plenty of those, whatever's happening. going on with that shit. Okay, okay. You just can't, you know, you can't shut up. And that's another thing, you know, men just don't listen to you. Yes? They no. just, they just talk about their own shit all the time and once you start talking, they don't listen anymore. They even can't remember what they said in the first place. For a whole month she was, she was wonderfully light and it was, it was a, a total pleasure being with her for a whole month and about after about a month she said you know Frank it's been a month since I sold the painting I said well I know but so you've sold two paintings in two months and before that you hadn't sold a painting for two bleeding years for Christ's sake yes I know but you know maybe 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 I'm not a good artist after all I said you've sold two paintings of course someone thinks you're a good artist you know, I think you're a good artist, and now someone else thinks you're a good artist. So, you know, cheer up, everything will be wonderful. What else? I mean, the best thing is, of course, as I said before, these um, fuckers who just kind of pretend you meet them and they pretend, oh, you know, I'm so famous, I have so much money and stuff. And then, you know, when it's too late, <laughs> you find out they don't have any fucking money. And then you're the one who's going to pay for them. Brilliant. After about a month, she was right in the doldrums again, oh, Frank, what am I going to do? Nobody likes my paintings. I said, Grace, I like your paintings. And you know my, my taste is good. You know how good I am at, at picking things out, at choosing good art. Yes, I know, but, but, but you love me, she said. Well, of course I love you, but that, that doesn't make any difference. So anyway, um, I gave Bernie another 300 quid and I said, go around there, Bernie, and buy another painting, for Christ's sake. So she called me up and she said, Frank, I've sold another painting. Isn't that wonderful? I said, yes, of course it's wonderful, you see? You see? <laughs> No? Brilliant. No, that no. just makes my day. Yeah. It's a thing. One, yes. one thing about this filming business. Yes. Don't be rude to me. Why not? Because I'll take the hat. It's my hat. And? Well, you wanted a hat to wear. I can wear both like this one. How about that? Brilliant. This year in Camden Town. 
Okay, I know you're smiling, but I know you're depressed. Tell, tell me why you're depressed. What are these fucking Hollywood stories all about, you know? With all these gorgeous men in these gorgeous flats, everything is perfect perfect world and then you have a little hiccups in between and then we have uh, you know we have the perfect Cinderella Cinderella story in the end again everything is perfect that's the thing you know this is what this world is about everything needs to be perfect you need to be perfect you need to have the perfect body you need to have the perfect man you need to have the perfect house you need to have the perfect life and the shit is I'm not perfect I, I don't fit into this fucking society. Lots of sugar. What are you doing? Nothing. Oh yeah. No. Just shoot all the bloody tourists and that's fine then. I'm, I'm a few of the English with them. Are <laughs> you to start with? <laughs> no, I, I have the gun. I have the gun, I get to choose who gets shot. No, 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 I actually thought to shoot you first. You don't have a gun. But, but I've the got... thing is, I think we first have to finish the film and then I can shoot you. That seems yeah. reasonable. How do you know I'm not going to shoot you first? How do you, how do you know I don't hate you so much? I want to kill you. Huh? And after about a week, she was, um, she was in the depths of depression again. I haven't sold a painting for a week, she said. I said, well, before that, you hadn't sold a painting for a month. And before that, you hadn't sold a painting for two years. What are you worrying about? She said, yes, please. I, I can't really be any good. I'm really, I really have no talent at all. I said, yes, you do have talent. You're a very talented woman. <clears throat> and you're a good painter as well. Uh My God, when did you clean this the first time? And because it doesn't need to be the thing. I do. I mean, it's the understanding. And that's a start. <laughs> to depress people yes. in the beautiful Cornwall, in beautiful sunshine, sitting on a bench. Smiling. Brilliant, smiling. You're gorgeous. Look at you. Well, at least one man who thinks that. <laughs> Anyway, I don't know. Maybe better get going, as you said. You know, look for another. I don't know. Look for another example. Yes. Or two. Or two. Or three. Anyway. What are you doing? Frank. Where are you going? Where I'm going now. Is it to you that we are going to meet here? Where are you? Fuck! Fuck! What is this thing? Shit! Shit! So, you know, I, I, so after a, a week of this, I, uh, I gave Bernie another 300 quid and, and said, um, buy another painting, Bernie, for Christ's sake. So Bernie went round there and bought another painting and she called me and she said, uh, Frank, she said, I've sold another painting after a week. I said, that's wonderful. Yes, she said, I've sold another painting for 200 quid. 200 quid? Yes, 200 quid, isn't that wonderful? Said, yes, that's wonderful. That's absolutely wonderful. And she said, what's more, I've had a great idea. I said, um, yeah, what's your idea, Grace? She said, well, obviously, you know, I'm selling paintings, that's how I'm going to put the price up. I'm going to double the price to £400. This time, I'm going to do it. 